Poppy Playtime 3 made its debut approximately three to two months ago. And since then, it has captivators gamers worldwide. Now, as I sit down to share my thoughts, I find myself brimming with excitement to delve into the depths of what makes this game such a standout experience. Allow me to paint a picture of the intense journey that unfolds within this area locate. Upon entering, we're immediately greeted with a foreboding warning, urging us to steer clear. Yet armed with a flare gun that serves both as a light source and formidable weapon against the sinister. Grinning entities lurking in the shadows, we press on. The Playhouse presents us with a series of nerve-wracking puzzles, each one more challenging than the last, all while navigating encounters with these unsettling yet strangely comical beings. As we progress, we stumble upon a scene straight out of a nightmare, a makeshift prison nestled within the confines of an orphanage. And there, amidst the bleakness, we find Dog Day. A character whose suffering transcends the boundaries of mere horror. Chained to the wall, his body bears the scares of unspeakable torment, a chilling testament to the cruelty of Catnap. The enigmatic figure whose presence looms large over the narrative. Today's plea for escape resonates with palpable sense of desperation. Before our encounter with Dog Day, his peculiar appearance doesn't warrant much thought. With his arms perennially stretched out, seemingly caught in a perpetual state of jubilance, he blends into the unsettling backdrop of the game without much fanfare. But as narrative unfolds and we delve deeper into the twisted reality of Poppy Playtime 3, the true horror of his condition begins to reveal itself. It's when we pause to scrutinize the details that the full extent of his torment becomes shockingly clear. The seemingly iniquitous pose of his outstretched arms takes on a harrowing significance, hinting at a backstory fraught with unimaginable suffering. Each time we encounter him, his posture serves as a stark reminder of a fate too ghastly to comprehend. Upon closer inspection, it becomes evident that his arms, frozen in a perpetual embrace of the void, are not merely raised in joy or anticipation. They are haunting a reminder of a crucifixional-like ordeal, or a grotesque parody of the ultimate sacrifice. It's a subtle, yet profoundly disturbing detail, one that eluded my notice during my initial playthrough, but haunts me upon reflection. In hindsight, it's these naunt touches that add layers of depth to the game's already chilling atmosphere. They serve as a testament to the meticulous attention to detail of the developers, who masterfully weave elements of psychological horror into the fabric of the game. So, if you're intrigued by the entrances of Poppy Playtime 3 and eager to uncover its hidden layers of terror, I invite you to subscribe and delve into my video playlist. Anyways, Back to the video. It's not just the physical agony that haunts us. It's the psychological weight of Catnap's influence. A specter of fear that grips even the bravest soul. His era of menace drives others to follow him out of sheer terror, casting a long shadow over every twist and turn of the tale. In essence, Poppy Playtime 3 delivers a chilling blend of horror and intrigue, weaving a narrative tapestry that ensnares the imagination and refuses to let go. And amidst the darkness, there shines a glimmer of brilliance, a testament to the creative prowess of mob entertainment and their ability to craft an unforgettable gaming experience. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed, 
make sure to subscribe to my channel for more spine chilling content of Poppy Playtime 3, Slime Rancher 2, Roblox, and many more horror games that might just keep you in an unwilling nightmare. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!